now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, January 10th. I'm Christina Baer. The Union School District under fire after residents learned that the district paid more than $885,000 plus benefits to three employees on paid administrative leave. Tap into Union publisher Kathy Cryan digs into who is receiving this money and why. $885,000. That's a big chunk of change right there. It is. And that doesn't include any kind of benefits compensation nor does it include legal fees. So that's another big chunk of change. So who are these people that are getting paid essentially not to work? So one of them has been identified because I've seen the lawsuits. Um, one of them was a former um, Union High School principal. The athletic director brought a lawsuit against him um, for harassment and intimidation and some other issues. Um, at that point, he was put on paid leave. We're talking September, 2018. They did bring tenure charges against him at some point. He was off payroll for four months. I don't know the details because they're personnel and I can't get that level of detail, um, but he's back on payroll as of May of 2020, continuing to re receive a full-time paycheck while he has a full-time job as a head basketball coach at Lincoln University. Second one is a was a middle school custodian and there was a lawsuit brought against him by a teacher for sexual... Uh, harassment and assault. And the third is an unidentified person um, who was a high school employee. Um, he's been on leave the longest, I think, May of 2018. What's been the, the reaction from the community? I imagine there's been a little bit of uproar. Some people are wondering where they can get such a job. Um, but, you know, many people are, as they should be, this is their taxpayer dollars. And some people have said, how many teachers could these dollars actually pay for when they're struggling in some classes for teachers. So it is a shame. Um, it's money not well spent. And I think the taxpayers are getting a little tired of it. No doubt. We'll probably hear more as this continues, Kathy. Thanks so much for chatting with me. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Christina. Up next after the break, the legislature back in session today and two notable faces are gone. The process of obtaining the PPP loan with the Clean Bank was very smooth. I invested my entire life into this beauty bar. I have a beautiful space and with the help of Lakeland, I was able to keep every single person in my team. So to be able to tell them your job is back, we're here, we're open and our business is booming is just great for everyone all around. Act the legislature back in session, and for the first time in nearly 30 years, Senator Loretta Weinberg did not participate. As we told you in news around New Jersey, Weinberg resigned early with a few days left in her term as Senate President Steve Sweeney appointed her to the board of directors of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Weinberg, who turns 87 next month, announced her retirement from the Senate last year. Meantime, a farewell to a state senator who devoted decades of his life to public service. Captain to Somerville reports that after 39 years in office, Senator Chris Kip Bateman leaves his seat for retirement today. After serving 12 years in the Senate, Bateman announced in November that he would not be seeking re-election. With politics in his bloodline, Bateman was a prosecutor by trade and also the son of the late Ray Bateman, who served as president of the state Senate and ran for governor in 1977. Well respected and liked on both sides of the aisle, Bateman helped champion several environmental causes over the years. Some New Jersey students headed back to class today while others stay home due to a spike in COVID-19 cases. Tap into Summit reports students will be in person this week. Students in that district were only in person one half day last week. Two of the other days were fully remote. Another day was a COVID testing day and Friday classes were canceled due to the storm. Robbinsville students will stay remote once again this week. Tap into Hamilton Robbinsville reports that there are high positive cases in teachers, instructional assistants, cafeteria workers, and bus drivers, and they have to isolate. For your local news 24-7, visit tapinto.net. Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank.